One third of Germans suffer from sleeping disorders, and yet sleep is absolutely essential and a prerequisite for health and performance. The guiding symptom of sleeping disorders is the lack of recuperation during sleep. Patients often describe daytime sleepiness, sleep deprivation, disorders of getting to and maintaining sleep, reduced performance, lack of concentration, headaches, dry mouth, or increased nocturia. Your bed partner complains of snoring or describes sleep apneas. If these disorders persist over longer periods of time, a step-by-step -step diagnostic approach starts with the patient's history, sleep questionnaires, and clinical and laboratory tests. The well-known standardized questionnaire is the Epworth Sleepiness Scale, which is shown to provide a measurement of the subject's general level of daytime sleepiness. See for yourself. Following that, a referral to a lung specialist, ENT specialist, neurologist, or pneumologist must be made in order to diagnose sleep apnea by carrying out a home respiratory polygraph. This is called a little sleep lab and entails the outpatient recording their nocturnal sleep patterns at home. A portable device will facilitate the recording of physiological data such as abdominal and thoracic effort, heart rate, body position, nasal flow, and snoring. If a finalized decision cannot be made, the patient will be referred to the sleep lab for a polyosomnography. In the sleep lab, an emission consultation starts with a physical examination and detailed medical history. How does the sleeping disorder manifest itself? Please describe your symptoms. When do you usually go to bed? When do you get up in the morning? Do you wake during the night? How long does it take to fall asleep? How do you feel during the daytime? Are you often tired, sluggish, or listless? Do you nod off during the day? Does your bed partner complain of snoring or sleep apneas? How is your current private and occupational situation? Are you under stress in your private or professional life? Do you work shifts? Do you suffer from any disorders? Do you take medication for high blood pressure, depression, or asthma? Do you smoke? Do you drink coffee or alcohol? Please describe your sleeping area to me. It is important that you take a shower before attaching the electrodes, but do not use lotions, hairspray, nail polish, or nail gels so that the electrodes adhere well. Going to the toilet is possible at any time. Ventilate the room well beforehand in order to have good room temperature. The ECG measures cardiac activity. The thorax and abdomen belts analyze abdominal and thoracic movements for the classification of sleep apneas. The microphone is needed for measuring snoring. The EMG records chin activities and the EOG records eye movement during the night. The EEG parameters measure brain flows for classifying sleep stages the following morning. The nasal cannulas measure the airflow for recording sleep apneas.
The pulse oximeter measures the patient's oxygenation during the night, The leg measurements record muscular activity and leg movements during the night. The body position is also recorded for detecting sleep orders caused by body position. The behavior of the patient is observed throughout the night by video. The sleep profile, called a hypnogram, is a graphic representation of the sleep stages reached during the whole night. This means the night can be evaluated the next morning by classifying the sleep stages. In this, a distinction is made between non-REM sleep which is 75 to 80% of the whole night and is split between light and deep sleep and REM sleep, dream sleep, which is 20 to 25% of the whole night. After classifying the sleep stages, the respiratory events, called sleep apneas, are evaluated by analyzing nasal flow, abdominal and thoracic effort, and oxygenation. Afterwards, in the doctor-patient consultation, it will be discussed which form of sleeping disorders the patient suffers from and how best it can be treated. One therapeutic option is continuous positive airway pressure, called CPAP therapy, which is the gold standard in treating sleep apneas. It's a small machine which, with the aid of a tube connected to a mask, blows air continuously into the respiratory passages. This positive air pressure splints the airway and keeps it open so that unobstructed breathing becomes possible and sleep apneas and snoring are reduced or prevented. The mask will be placed in position so that it fits well and is comfortable. This enables air to be continuously blown up to the required therapeutic pressure which is determined and supervised during the polyosomnography in the sleep lab. This therapy improves breathing and oxygenation, and facilitates relaxing sleep.